So this is a problem where we have an electric charge moving through what you assume to be in a uniform electric field. Always a good idea with these problems is to draw our plates so that we can figure out which way the electric field goes and which way the voltage goes. So if we have our plates with the positive on top and negative on the bottom, the electric field points from positive to negative and points of lower voltage are at the bottom and higher voltage are at the top. So let's just say this bottom plate has a voltage of 200 volts, in which case point A will be on the bottom plate and the top plate, let's say that's point B, where the voltage is 800 volts. Okay, so that's independent of any charged particle in the picture. That's just a function of the space where there's an electric field. Now, our charge is a negative charge, and it starts at point A and moves up towards point B. Now, you have to ask yourself, is it going to fall to point B, or do you have to push it to point B? Well, because it's a negative charge, it's actually going to fall because the positive plate will attract it. So, it will increase speed as it moves from A to B. It's conservation of energy that dictates what happens to this charge. So if the change in potential energy must be the negative of the change in its kinetic energy because energy is conserved. Change in potential energy is defined to be the charge times the voltage final minus the voltage initial. And the change in kinetic energy would similarly be 1 half mv final squared minus 1 half mv initial squared. Okay, so let's work out the left-hand side. We have, you do put the negative charge in when you have that Q. So we have negative 5 microcoulombs times 800 volts minus 200 volts would be equal to negative 3 times 10 to the negative 3 joules. And that's the left-hand side, the change in potential energy. That then is equal to the change, negative change in kinetic energy. So that would be equal to negative 1 half m, I'm just going to factor that out, vb squared minus 5 meters per second squared. The whole 5 meters per second is squared. Okay, so the negatives cancel and we would have 2 times the change in potential energy divided by the mass, which is 2 times 10 to the negative 4 kilograms would be equal to Vb squared minus 25 meters squared per second squared. So solving that gives us Vb is equal to 7.42 meters per second, which is indeed what we would expect as the negative charged particle accelerates toward that positive plate and in the process speeds up.